when um, the COVID thing came last March and things were shutting down, we couldn't meet for Bible studies, couldn't get together for special events, God had something bigger in mind. And even though I got really discouraged and I thought I might as well quit, um, God started whispering to me, Ramona, you can do things and you can use this big scary thing called the internet. And so I started doing studies online. We started doing our special events online. Just want to share with you about a gal who is really special to me. She has a stage four cancer and she was able to watch our New Year's event online. And I heard from her how encouraging she, um, her heart was after listening to Aideen share her story about uh, peace and how, how God can speak to us in His Word. And so my, my God story is that God is bigger than all of this that's going around us. He's still working. Hi, Matt, and this guy's name is, what's your name? Ezra. Yeah. And so um, the other day I was going downstairs early in the morning to try and have a quiet time and hoping that this guy wouldn't wake up early because he always wakes up early and if he sees lights on downstairs, he'll come and interrupt. So I was trying to find some time alone. Didn't work out, he did come down, but I thought maybe um, maybe God wanted to say something to him because it's always, as a parent, you're always wondering like, how do you um, introduce God to them or how do they, how do you foster that? And so we just said, why don't we listen and see if Jesus wants to say something to you, right? And then, did Jesus say something to you? Did he say something? Yeah, what did he do? What did he say? He told me that uh, he was singing a song. And what song did Jesus sing to you? Do you remember? Was the song, Jesus Loves Me? I think so. Yeah. So, um, I don't know, that impacted me. It was kind of an encouragement to me as well that... Uh, God, God will do what He does, and uh, it's not all on us. Hi, my name's Ruth. I've been praying for some time for a number of my 19 grandchildren who are struggling with anxiety. And then one of them told me uh, that she really, really could hardly carry on. She had so many headaches and everything. And I said to her one day, everybody has anxiety. And the more you tell yourself you have anxiety, the worse it'll get. Well. Then I heard that she decided she didn't want to go to church anymore because maybe she didn't really believe it all. And I felt fear and panic. Then that Wednesday at coffee break, Barb Ziegelko's theme was uh, Doubters Welcome. And I learned that day that instead of stuffing your doubts or pretending they're not there, wrestle with them. And then your faith can even become stronger. So I made a phone call to that granddaughter and I sincerely apologized for the way I had treated her anxiety. I could feel an immediate change even over the phone. So I thank God for coffee break, for his word, and for the work of the Holy Spirit who gently but purposefully teaches us lessons. Mm -hmm.